All right, guys. <clears throat> so I'm out at a, uh, an old permission that one of my friends, uh, his grandma lived here before she passed away. And uh, this, this ground is super mineralized, so it's kind of been tough even having my machine ground balanced and having it freaking uh, uh, noise canceled and everything. So it's been kind of tough finding stuff. I found a, a, a suspender clip. The house was probably built, man, I'd say World War I era, somewhere around there. But uh, I got my first good signal, so I wanted to show it to you guys. You can see I dug, uh, I don't know, probably five or six inches down. And uh, I pulled up this neat pocket knife. Check it out. I thought it was pretty neat. I like finding stuff like this. And you can tell it's pretty old. But uh, I wanted to show you guys that. It don't have the wood or nothing left on it. But it's still pretty neat. So I thought I'd show you guys. But I'll get back to you at the next hole. <clears throat> All right, guys. I'm back on the next hole. Um, like I said, it's been kind of a pain in the butt to get to these signals. It's real, it's real rooty. And, uh, but I managed to get... No, I haven't yet, but I managed to pull out this. Whenever you get ready to, just holler at me, because I got quite a few. But... Okay. Well, I managed to pull out this rivet. It ain't got none of the leather left on it, but I thought that was pretty neat. I'd show you guys. But I'm going to get back to it, and I'll let you know when I find another. All right, guys. So I moved to a new permission. <clears throat> well, I say a permission. It's actually the park. Um, but I wanted to just show something. Uh, this isn't a cool find or anything like that. I just wanted to show something that's pretty cool about this Equinox 800. Right here, you got a piece of just aluminum, uh, melted aluminum. It's just junk. But if you look down in the hole, oh man, it's dark. I can't get it out. It's uh, it's kind of hard. Probably can't even see it. But uh, there's a wire. A big wire down in the hole and uh, it had it didn't stop me from getting that piece of aluminum and uh, I was still getting that strong signal uh, I was, well if I can find it I managed to lose it somewhere anyway my point is uh, with this Equinox uh, I still managed to get a good high tone even with that wire down in the hole next to the target uh, so it's very good at separating uh, good targets from bad even though this wasn't actually a good target but it was a good high conductive target and that was my point but uh, I'll let y'all know when I get to the next hole see you on the next one so I was getting a really strong signal and it ended up being this coke can and it's not old coke can or nothing uh what i was actually showing you is check out how deep the signal is that i got for it look at that <laughs> i mean that's freaking two inches over my freaking uh pin pointer my pin pointer is about 10 inches long so that's about 12 inches deep that i was getting that signal i mean i'm just basically just kind of showing you the signals that i'm digging I'm, I'm like I've never had a machine that I dug such deep targets that's a good thing yes but at the same time it stinks at the same time sometimes because you end up digging some big old freaking holes and end up with something like that <laughs> but uh I'll get back to you on the next hole guys all right guys how's everybody doing today <clears throat> Um, I'm out at the old 1857 church again. Uh, I actually brought my dad out here this time. Uh, now that I got my Equinox, I've been letting my dad use the Garrett, and he's new to metal detecting still. Uh, but I decided to ask him if he wanted to go, and he was more than happy to go. So we came out here. He's running the Garrett Ace 300 with a uh, 12 by 13 coil. And then I'm running the Equinox 800 with the 6-inch coil. I just got it yesterday, so I'm trying it out to see how it works. <clears throat> but I got my first good signal. 
it was 21 22 giving a good solid hit at three to four inches and it was this a 1941 wheat scent i don't know if y'all could see it or not but uh if you can you can see uh where it says one cent but uh there's the first good target i'm gonna get back to it and see what else i can find guys see you on the next hole <clears throat> all right i'm at the next hole well i say the next hole it's been a few i've dug like five holes i've been finding a bunch of uh 22 shell casings uh my dad found a uh i want to say it was like a 270 uh I don't know for sure. I just glanced at it and stuck it in my pouch for him. But uh, uh, I was getting another good 21, 22 signal, uh, about the same depth, three to five inches. And I pulled this out. Another wheat penny. See if you can pick it up. It's a 1919S wheat scent. See, one cent. Awesome. I'll take wheat scents every day. I love digging them. And being a coin collector, which is actually what got me into metal detecting. But uh, that kind of, ever since then, I've been fascinated with metal detecting. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to get this hole fixed up, and then I'm going to get back to it, and I'll see you at the next hole. All right, guys. So it's been a while since I had any coins or any good signals uh, at all, really. Nothing worth recording. <clears throat> but I was getting a strong 14, 15 ish signal somewhere around there, and uh, about six or seven inches down. And I already hadn't cleaned it off to see if I could get a date off of it. But uh, check it out Buffalo Head Nickel. Uh, <clears throat> it ended up being a 1924. It's really hard to see. And you might not even be able to see it through the view, the screen, but uh, it's definitely a 1924. Uh, not in the best of shape by any means, but it's still a buffalo head nickel, so I'm pumped about it. This is my second buffalo head nickel I've ever found metal detecting. But I'm going to get back to it, and I'll see you on the next hole. All right, guys, I'm back at the next hole. Uh, <coughs> I was getting a... A nickel signal, 14, 15 around there. I pulled up this big old freaking piece of iron and uh, stuck my pin pointer back in there. It's still going off. And then I ended up finding these. This right here is a rivet. My guess is off of some kind of uh, leather, like a maybe something to do with the... A saddle maybe that'd be my guess uh just by the you know by the size of it and then this was laying next to it too i don't know if it's some kind of cap off of one or what but uh i figured that was cool enough to show you guys uh i'm gonna get back to it i'll see you at the next hole <clears throat> all right guys i'm at the next hole we've been here probably an hour and a half or something around there uh like i said before we're not getting a lot of crazy cool uh targets but we're getting targets nonetheless and that's all that counts if i'm digging i'm having fun but uh i was getting a 13 14 signal real shallow like an inch maybe an inch and a half <clears throat> and i pulled out this little button it's got like little holes all over it like as the design i don't know if you could see it or not but uh, I thought that was pretty neat, so I wanted to show you guys. But I'm going to get back to the next hole, and I'll see you there. All right, guys. <clears throat> so me and my trusty silver sniffer dog right there, Penny, we decided to come out by the New City Lake. I found a few... Uh, home sites out here uh, with some foundations and I haven't really got to hunt it too much because it's one of those places that you got to kind of hunt in the winter time because there's so much grass and build up and whatnot like that so uh, we came out here today because it's a pretty nice day 
I believe it's uh, March 12th or 13th. I can't remember. I'll have to look at my phone for sure. But uh, we're going to go out here and see what we can find. And hopefully we find some goodies out here. I've taken, uh, I've actually done a few hunts out here, but they were never very good because I've always used my Ace 300 and it's got a lot bigger coil than the coil I'm bringing out today. Today we're gonna be hunting with the Equinox 800 and we're gonna be using the six inch coil. So hopefully I can get into some of them hard to reach places and find some goodies that are tucked away in those hard spots but uh if you look right there right in there it looks like somebody had put a wall there at one time and i've searched through the woods a little bit um and so far what i've what i've found is i've found three different home sites in this one little area so what i'm hoping is I can venture out a little bit further today if I don't find anything at, at these two sites that are right beside each other, basically. Um, then I'm gonna venture off and see if I can't find some new spots. But I have done another hunt <clears throat> at the other site, which we'll probably be going to it too if I don't find anything at this one. Um, and I found like a 1919 wheat penny out there but it's the same way as this one. It's real brushy and hard to swing in. Uh, but to me, the other one has a little bit more potential. I did find some, and, and they're off in the woods. I mean, so whenever this was a home, they were having to drive through the woods to get to the highway, which um, the old sites or the old maps that I've looked at shows that these houses were here at least in 1951 now i found some 1904 maps of the same location uh but it's not it doesn't show the houses on there so i'm not sure if they just didn't have the uh you know the technology so to speak to know that there was a house out here that early or what but uh we're here basically so I'm going to get at it, and uh, I'll get with y'all when I get to the first hole, see what we can find. All right, wish me luck. All right, guys. So I went to the first place where I was walking at uh, when I made the first part of the video, and I found a shotgun shell, and that is it. And it's really been tough going through this. If you look, you can see how rough it is through here. So I'm just kind of doing the patches the best I can and, you know, get in between stuff. But it's a pain in the butt. But uh, this is my first halfway decent find. I'm not sure what it goes to or anything, but uh looks like it was a cap on something. Maybe a vehicle or, you know, maybe a dresser of some kind. I'm not real sure about that. But I figured I'd show it anyway. That way I had a little bit to show you guys so far. But I'm going to get back to it and see if I can find any good stuff. All right, I'll talk to you in a few. <clears throat> All right, guys. I see roundness in the hole. Check it out. Let's see if you can see it right there. Let's flip it out together. All right, looks like a penny. This will be the second coin I found at this site, so it's not... Uh, my guess is going to be a wheat penny because I have only found one other wheat penny. Let's check it out. Do the old rub-a-dub in the pants. See what we got. All right, it's definitely a wheat scent. Let's see if you can see that in my camera. See one scent up there? Let's see if we can get a date off of it right now. Crap. Try not to rub it too much. Because I want to... Alright, it's a 19... Move, Penny. Looks like a 19... 
It's a 1930 something. I'm not sure if it's a 1930 or a 1936. See if you can see that in the camera or not. I'm not sure if you can. But uh, it's definitely a 1930 something. So that's a good sign. I'm going to say it's a 1930. But I'll clean it up when I get to the house and check it out to be sure. But cool find. I always like finding Wheaties. But uh, I'll get back to you on the next hole. <clears throat> Well, here's the next target after the wheat scent. You know, I actually came out here hoping to find some uh, some relics, honestly. But uh, I'll take whatever I can get. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It says L O match six three. It doesn't say what it is, but my guess is it's like a 30-30 or maybe a 270 round. It's not old or nothing, but I'll take it. See you at the next hole. <clears throat> Check this out. That bullet casing that I found, I found it a ways, uh, probably about 20 yards away. And uh, here's the actual bullet, and I'm about 90% sure that that's the same bullet that goes to that type of casing. Uh, and if it is, that looks just like a 270 round, if, it, if you were to ask me. But uh, it's a copper-plated uh, bullet. But I thought that was kind of neat since it looks like it fits to that one. So I thought I'd show you. It was just a couple inches down, maybe like three inches down. But uh, it gave a 13. The signal was 13, and it was dead on 13 the whole time. It didn't, the numbers didn't jump at all. So I had to dig it to see what it was. But on to the next one. All right, guys. So I'm at a new permission. I just got here a few minutes ago, and my first target was this wheat penny. Uh, the owner had just showed up, and I had to help him move a recliner in the house. So I wasn't able to record it. But uh, I think you, sorry about the shade, but I think you can see one cent on there. Uh, it's a 1954D uh, wheat cent. And then my second target, I just dug. It was giving me a good 25, 26 signal. Uh, it was about five inches down. And uh, it's a number eight. And it's got a pin on the back of it. I'm thinking it probably came off the house. Uh, because uh, one of the numbers off the address was actually an 8. But they have stickers up there now. So my guess is this was probably back when it was first built. Uh, I'm thinking the house is probably from around the 50s. Uh, I couldn't find any information. I'll have to ask the owner and see if she knows. But uh, I thought this was pretty neat. So I'm going to get back to digging. I'll see you guys at the next hole. Alright guys, so I'm at my next good target. It was about five inches down, and uh, I broke it, unfortunately. But I believe that it's off of a uh, a Matchbox car because it looks like it says CH Box Series Chevrolet. Sorry about the or the shade, but it says uh, something Box Series Chevrolet Impala Taxi, made in England by lesney i'm pretty sure lesney is a good type of car if i ain't mistaken but i broke the freaking thing this is all i found so far i'm gonna dig in the hole and see if i can find anything else in there but that's still cool uh so i'm gonna get back at it see what else i can find see you at the next one all righty <clears throat> so i was getting a 20 21 signal and about four and a half inches down I know it's hard to see because of this because uh, of my shadow and I apologize for that but see if I can get out of the shadow check that out right there I ain't even touched it yet but it well if I can get out of the freaking light or out of the shade let's wipe her off see what she says Looks like it has a V with a diamond on it, so I'm not sure what that is. But either way, it's a key, and I like to collect these, so uh, that's cool. 
There we go. Maybe y'all could see it a little better now. And you see the V on it right there underneath the hole with the diamond. But anyway, I'm going to get back to it. I'll see you at the next hole. Well, check this out, guys. <clears throat> oh, crap. I dropped it. I was getting two signals. Hang on a second. See if I can find it now. Well, <laughs> give me a second. I'll be right back. All right. Like I was saying, I was getting two different signals real close to each other. Uh, one of them was a high 19 and then the other one was a 20. Then I pulled that one out and then I swung over the hole again and I was getting 25 right next to it. So I went ahead and dug them both and searched for them and I got this, uh, I'm guessing some kind of JB Weld paste or something like that. Just junk. But then, the 25 signal was this wheat scent. It's another 1950 something. It's hard to tell. I'll clean it up later. But, uh, still, it's a wheat scent. I've always loved digging wheat scents. It doesn't matter how old or new. I like them all. But, that's why it's always good to check your holes. I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. <clears throat> so I haven't moved far uh, from my last wheat scent that I found. And then if you look right here, about that deep. Uh, so probably about seven and a half, six inches, somewhere around there. And I found another one of these just a minute ago, but it was broke, so I didn't show it. Man, the shade's killing me, guys. Uh, but it's like a little hanger that hangs on the outside of your house, I guess. Maybe the inside, because it's got wood screws. But I thought it was pretty neat. I like stuff like this. But uh, I'm going to get to it. See you on the next one. All right, guys. So about five inches down, I got kind of a scratchy tone. It is a 21 but it was real scratchy. It was solid but scratchy, if that makes any sense to you guys. Well, check that out. It's a little star. with a, It's a copper star, it looks like, with a star in the middle. And I guess you would hang it maybe for a necklace? I'm not real sure. That's, that's the back of it, though. You can see for the shadow. And then there's the front. Man, that thing is gorgeous. And it looks like it would fit on like that there. But uh, that's my next find right there, guys. I'll see you at the next hole. All right, guys. So I'm at a new permission. Uh, the house is, I actually found a mercury dime here. Uh, and I haven't got to hunt it much since then. But uh, I just pulled up this key about four inches down. Uh, I came back here because I haven't done the front yard yet. I'm going to see if I can find some silver. But there's my first good target. I'll get back to you on the next one. Well, I'm just kind of walking around out in the woods now. As you can see, uh, you can see right there, there's some signs of a home site around here. Uh, uh, right up that way, uh, looks like a foundation up there. So I'm just kind of snooping around to see what I can find. And uh, I just came across this teaspoon right here. That's pretty neat. But uh, I'm going to get back to it. What's up, everybody? It's Sunday morning, almost noontime. And uh, I'm going out to the permission that I found that barber dime at. <clears throat> uh, this will be last time we only got to hunt it for about 20 minutes. And we haven't even done even an eighth of the property. It's a big place. Uh, so I'm super excited and uh, I thought I'd bring you guys along for the trip and uh, once we get there uh, I'll see y'all once I get my first good target and uh, if I remember I'll sh I kind of show you guys the lay of the land and show you the house and stuff because just by looking at it you can tell it's old and uh, there's also a, uh, a house next door uh, which the properties basically just kind of blend together. There's no real, there's no fence or nothing like that. 
So we're gonna see if we can't get permission to go hunt that land too. So I'm hoping for a really good day. I'm hoping to find a lot of silver. Uh, so I will catch you guys when we get there and I'll see you at the first hole. All right guys, so about four inches down, I got my first target that was any good other than modern stuff. And it looks like it's a cheaper uh, Hot Wheels car, but still pretty neat. So I thought I'd show you guys. I'll see you at the next hole. All right guys, so I got my second good target. Check it out, this is my first ever thimble I've dug. Uh, I'm not sure if it's silver or not yet. See if I can clean it up and get something off of it. I'm gonna say it's probably not. It is cleaning up really good though. Man, that's awesome. I've always wanted to dig one of these. See what we can get. Well. I'm not seeing any spot where it says, I'm not sure what all they were made out of either. So this house was built in uh, either the late 1800s or real early 1900s. It's got a little fancy on it. Uh, I'll mess with it when I get home and see what else I can come up with, see if maybe it's silver or not. Cause it's shining up like it, it might be. But uh, I'll get back to you on the next hole. All right, guys. So about three inches down, I found this neat little thing. I have no idea what it says. It almost looks like Chinese writing from here. But uh, I thought it was a pin at first. But it looks like it was a label off of something. I'll clean it up and see if I can't get a name off of it. But I'll see you at the next hole. All right, guys. About five to six inches down, I finally got something I've been wanting for a while. Uh, check this out. Right there. Check it out. It's, it's round, but it's not a coin. I, 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 it's, I'm pretty sure it's a button. Let's check it out. Yep, definitely a button. Uh, it's not looking like it's got anything on it, though. So that's kind of a bummer. It says... Prim patented on the back. Not looking like anything on the front, but the shank, check it out. Shank's in good shape. So I'll take that as a win any day. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna get back to it. Turn the camera off, cause in the same hole, well, in the top of the plug, right underneath, right underneath that, is a GM key. It's not real old, but it's a key nonetheless. I'll take it. All right, see you at the next hole. All right, guys, check it out. <clears throat> what is it gonna be? Spoon, fork, or knife? What do you think? It's got a little fancy on it. Check that out. I'm sure it's not silver by any means, but what do you think? Leave a comment down below what you think it is. All right, ready? Oh, uh, oh, uh, it's a knife. Cool. I like it. Even if it ain't silver, it sure cleans up nice. Wow. Look how shiny that is. That's neat. It's stainless steel. Right there's where it says it. Dead gummit. Oh well, that's still cool. Custom craft stainless Taiwan. Well. I'm gonna get back to it. I'll see you at the next hole. Hey guys, so I was getting a signal uh, about seven inches down and I started pulling this stuff up. Check it out. Now, this piece interested me because I wasn't sure what it was. Uh, I'm just gonna trash that. But then I pulled this up. Anybody ever seen one of these? It spins, uh, but I've never seen one, so I'm not sure what it is. If anybody's got a clue what this is, please 
let me know. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, check that out. This thing right here spins. Check it out. If anybody knows what it is, let me know. I'll catch you at the next hole, though. All right, guys. So I got tired of running down with my small coil. So I decided to start going after some deep targets. So I switched on to the big bad boy 11-incher. And uh, check this out. Bada boom. We're talking 10 inches down. Check this bad boy out. It's a freaking belt buckle. Check out the fancy on that thing. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see it. But it's got flowers etched into it. Man, it's gorgeous. There you go. Check that out. Man, that is gorgeous. And came out of the hole pretty. So I started looking on it. Check that out. Right there, it says Sterling E.P. Co. Heck yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to get back at it. I'll see you guys on the next hole. Check it out, guys. I was getting a 1718 signal. Still in the plug. Check that sucker out. <clears throat> and that sucker is in there. Oh, man. Well, it's tore up, but... That's pretty neat. Looks like a bus. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to get back to it. See you at the next one. Alright guys. So we're giving up for the rest of the day. Uh, we stayed out here probably about four hours. And uh, here's what we got so far. This is mine over here. And then I'll do his after. Uh, but I didn't even take time to go through all these coins. I found some dimes. Uh, one quarter and a bunch of modern pennies. I didn't find any wheat pennies at all Which is crazy considering I found a freaking 1912 barber dime in the same yard, but uh, I found this key I found a shotgun shell and all this right here Is uh, melted aluminum that I found basically all over the yard uh, it wasn't really in one specific spot. Uh, so there's no telling what happened. Bunch of burn piles maybe over the years. I found this. Uh, I don't know what it's off of. Uh, but I found it. <laughs> that, I found this little piece of glass. And then I found the knife. Which I thought was cool. It would have been a lot cooler if it was silver. And then I found these pieces of copper right here. Uh, no telling what they go to probably just junk and then I found uh, the owner's dad I showed him this and then he told me what it was it's the top of a lantern and I can't believe that I didn't think of that but that's what it is so that's probably my favorite find of today's trip well one of them and I got this uh, I don't know what it is uh, some kind of label off of something. And then I got this piece off of a watch. That goes on the outside. Button piece. Uh, piece of brass. Bullet casing. And then one of my other cool finds. The thimble. I'm going to try and mess with it when I get home and see if I can find any markings where it's bent over. Because I feel like it might be silver. We'll see. And then the coolest find of all is the Sterling Silver Belt Buckle. That's definitely my favorite for the day. Sterling FP Co. And it's all together. So I could probably fix this and wear it for my kids if I wanted to. Then I found this ball. It's not metal, but I guess it's got a metal something inside of it. I might break it open later and see what it is. And I found this little piece of metal. Ugh, metal. Uh, I guess it was some kind of a clip or something at one time. Maybe a dog chain or battery cable maybe. And then I got my little bus. And then I got my little uh, Hot Wheels uh, PT Cruiser. I believe that's what that is. And uh, I got one more thing. Let me show you. Hang on. Oh 
man, I can't find it. Man, I guess I stuck it in another spot. Well, I got a button somewhere. Uh, I guess I stuck it in the other pouch. Oh, no, I know where it's at. My bad. Right here. And then I got this button. That's probably about one of my favorite finds right there for the day. But uh, that's all my finds. Now let's go to the other Dustin's finds. Now careful guys, because this is this might take a while. My second time going. Yeah, this is only his second time going, and he's using my Ace 300. Uh, so he's just now learning. But he found a 1930 wheat penny. So he's got me beat on coin age today. He's got um, two modern pennies, a little bell that probably came off a dog collar. Still got the little ball inside of it, so that's pretty cool. A 22 casing, a bone, <laughs> I guess it came up out of a hole, and then he got a bunch of nails. This kind of looks like a square nail, kind of. I'm not sure if that's what it is or not, but it sure looks like it. But, oh yeah, and then there's a big old fat nail. But, that's it guys. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next hunt.